You're listening to the Word on the Streets with Joe Bingham, Jason Tasker, Raj Pujada, and Lavelle Smith. So you're walking down the street, you find a bag with fifty thousand pounds in it, cash, and then you take the bag, you go home. Where where is it though? Like where are we? You you're just on the street. You're walking down what the street. street. What street? Birmingham High Street. I don't fucking know. <laughs> it would be the fifty gram will be in a bag for that so long on Birmingham High Street. And, and, and what type of bag is it? Like it's a it's a duffel bag. Okay, cool. It's a it's a nice duffel bag. It's uh, so you see, I had in, in my head it was like a carrier bag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. it's you got to set the scene, man. All right, so you walking down the street. You sound like you might be stealing cartel money. You know what I mean? It's a different <laughs> question. Yeah, so you're walking down the street. It's a nice duffel bag. Yeah, R- Polo Ralph Lauren bag. Yeah. Okay. So it's not like super fancy. It's not Gucci, but it's it's a nice bag. Yeah. 50k cash inside, all in 50s, yeah? You take the bag, you go home, you're gassed, you're excited, you just got bare money. Turn the news on, and there's a woman crying, saying she left her life savings in the bag. She lost her life savings. It's in a bag, a duffel bag, and she withdrew the money from the bank to pay for her family's healthcare issue or whatever, yeah? To have some sort of medical care. She needs that money. Do you give the money back, Joe? What does the woman look like? What? <laughs> like, what does she look like? Wow! <laughs> wow! What she look like? Yeah. Um, she's 65. You see, that changes things, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I thought you were going out. No, nah, I wasn't going to be like, like, like I would, I, would, I, would be I take a, it back I so I could beat? That's not what I was on about yeah. now. But, like, if she looked... But you could secure a beat though if you needed, didn't it? Nah, but like if you, <laughs> you can secure a lot with fifty grand. Like, yeah. If anything, that's easier. You'd be like, so. well, I'm bringing this back, but you know, I'm about fifty five is the eldest I've done, so we could tick a few boxes here. Yeah, but it's like you know what it's like. It's in a duffel bag, isn't it? That's what's bothering me. If she looked like the woman out of Fast and Furious, I'd be which like, one, I'd be one? like, this is criminal proceedings, and she's made it up. You know what I mean? If she was like in a tank top, oh, okay, tattoos, okay, I'll that. get yeah. Well, it's also a little unbelievable that she's paying for medical care, but this is also, what she says. Also, it's whether you did, believe it or not. NHS, man. Also, how did she get fifty grand at the cash point? Or how did she? No, she didn't go to the fucking <laughs> cash. <laughs> she didn't go to the <laughs> cash <laughs> point, you dickhead. <laughs> <laughs> she just sat there, stood there, all day. She was there for fast withdrawal. She actually started when she was sixty-two, <laughs> and it took her till she was sixty-five to get the fifty grand out. So, well, Lavelle, you ain't had peas in the bank before, have you? You have to. I know you have to phone. Them to <laughs> you just go in. She took her bank. Bro, you can't get the bank to Birmingham. You want to redraw a certain amount of money? You've got to phone them, let them know. Yeah, yeah, but you still go in to get <laughs> it. Like, right? This is unprecedented. Yeah, yeah, this yeah. has never happened. No one has this much money in Birmingham. Okay, cool. Yeah, okay, what are you doing then? Why is it me first? I just went with you. Okay. You're, the, you're the controller. Um. So she, she's 65. Channel News crying. Medical. <sighs> like crying, like. Medical care for a family member. Whole family. Like, My die. issue is like you've got a you've got a future proof yourself. Why why she got medical insurance? Do you know? What I mean? I'll be honest with you. I'm not giving what? it back. She should have medical like, insurance. Then she wouldn't need the sixty five no, grand. No, but it's not for her, and it's for someone she knows. Yeah, what's well, going they should have NHS medical insurance. No, that NHS, well, no okay. maybe there's, there's a shit in it. Like she wants private. Yeah, they whatever. are shit in it. But I'd Whoa, still I'd still I'd, the, I'd, the, I'd the still that if you said by Joe only. No, I but you know it's a great. You know what I mean? No, they work hard, but you're gonna be waiting a while, isn't it? Yeah, no, nah, no, Lavelle, Lavelle what? took a little tumble down the stairs. His head's fine. They checked him quick. You know, you know the best. You know the best thing about his little. You know the best thing about his little concussion thing as well. Little he, concussion. He, he, he did. He did that thing that birds do on Facebook when he was just like, "Why does this always happen to me?" <laughs> no, he, he, put a, he put a picture up of the A and E waiting, was waiting for news, and he, and he was no. and he was like, so, "Ah, no gig tonight. Guess I'm spending my night in A and E." Man checked <laughs> into hospital. You know when people <laughs> check in. No, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. Lavelle check Smith checks in at Heartlands Hospital. You lot are lucky. Because I was nearly, I nearly died in it, so this podcast never nearly happened in it. What were you gonna do about me? Of course. How did you fall down the stairs? <laughs> so I had it, yeah. So you know what? Like, I just slipped. Not like he's standing. Because you're top like, heavy, in it. That's the problem. You don't do work. Bro, you don't I, work legs, in it. Do you work legs? But that's what old old people fall down. I the didn't stairs. tumble down the stairs like you know, like East Enders, like rap fell down the stairs and all dramatic, and I was lying at the bottom like this. But I was lying at the bottom, but I, like, <laughs> <laughs> I did, I, you know, when you're walking down, I just slipped and I slipped backwards. What's the I'm, first word you said when you hit the floor? Ow! <laughs> yeah, I was like, nah, I was hurting, man. I was, I was holding my head. My man didn't know who he was. Genuinely, just holding my head. I thought like I Jason like, Bourne. I, I say the weirdest shit when like I, think, I, think I get I, like shocked. Or I something. didn't say anything weird. I was just like, oh, what? I was like, you know, I was so pissed off. I don't know why I even went downstairs at that point. 
Did you make a noise you when fell you fell? Down and <laughs> <laughs> Did you make a noise when you were falling? No, nah, I didn't like scream or anything. So you're like, ah. I don't know, man. I just, I just remember like, yeah, I feel I like just, you did. I just like... remember, I remember falling and waking up at the bottom of the stairs. Hey, one of our like, guys said gen... the funniest thing because he's tiny, right? They said, "Did you just walk into the first step?" <laughs> <laughs> You know what it was? Did you fall you over fell up the stairs? Did you fall over the gate that you've got on the stairs now? Nah, I bet you did, it? I bet you fell Have over you the, stair gate gate? the stairs. Have you got a gate on the stairs? Stair gate? For you? you. Yeah, yeah. So it's for him? <laughs> well, for me, I, I need a stair gate for myself. Neither of them can open it. I need to let my gate. like it's kind of coming up to a massive like set of gates. Like, fucking hell, it's going to be hard to navigate. But, but you need to be locking the stair gate for me, making sure I'm all right. So was it that. open when you was coming down? Yeah. And did you take it off the thing? When you hit it, did you take it off? Nah. It stayed on? Yeah, it stayed on. Oh, fair. Yeah, yeah, so, hey, man, that's robust. So, 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 yeah, because so, I've knocked a few of them off just walking past them. Trust so, me. Or when you try and step over them because you can't be asked to over yeah, it and then, and then you then knock boom. it off. Yeah, you yeah, break that's, that's why so, you Yeah, that's why you don't get me single mums. So imagine I've... <laughs> single mums that smoke, that's my thing. Hmm. So, 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 so I've done that, right? Fire down the stairs now and I've messaged somebody and said, yo, just fire down the stairs. They're like, yo, you... I said, I'm going to sleep. I'll sleep it off. They're like, don't, don't do that. So I've gone to sleep anyway, woke up now. This person's like, oh, no. So oh, someone told you not to sleep, so you went to sleep. But then, so I've got to sleep anyway, woke up now and I still felt a little bit dizzy and stuff. And then I phoned 111 now, phone 111 and that. And um, you know what he said to me on 111? He was like, I told him what happened. Then he went, um... We're in crisis, bro, fuck up. Are you really nah, nah, went, nah, I told you what happened and he went, yeah, yeah, I think you should come in, but you're not allowed to drive. I'm not going to send an ambulance. So I was like, how, how, I was like, how do I get there then? <laughs> My like, man's got concussion, yeah, mate. Like, how do brain I get there? And then, and then, then he's got... <laughs> Look, that was like that meme with all the you know, numbers. When Mr. Krabs, he's spinning. <laughs> and then I'm thinking, how, how do I get there? And then he's, he's got, oh, do you live with anybody? I said, nah, I live on my own. He went, can you not get a taxi? And I was like, well, who's going to pay for that? It's cost your head, head bro. It's a living crisis, though. If it's you find 50 head. bags, you could get all the taxis in the world, man. Oh, I know. Yeah, I didn't find 50 bags, though. <laughs> Get me. So Lavelle's definitely not giving it nah, back. I know, a, right? I've, I've, now. Well, let me tell you, I've gone to the hospital now. I'm sitting in the hospital waiting A and E, but I've like put my laptop over. I can write some jokes here. Got my laptop over free. Got my. Back. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that boy's uh, homework. I'm in a good headspace at the minute in A&E. <laughs> <We're gonna, laughs> it comes I, around and it's just a yeah, mess. Yeah. But then I thought, oh, I can't pull it out because they're, they're going to think I'm not ill. Like, no, no, it's happened to me if I'm sitting on my laptop doing work. So my thought, man's in A&E. I am a successful <laughs> businessman. <laughs> <laughs> he started telling everyone at A&E all the comedians he uh, knows so, as so, well. So, listen to this one. Listen to this now. Is that where so, you got your laptop out? Like? So I'm sitting there. It's packed, right? Friday night, right? It's packed. Then I've heard one woman. Woman was talking about, I'm a celebrity. She went, oh yeah. Do you remember Sean Walsh? The one who did that kissing thing. So I've looked up now. I'm like, seeing what she's saying. I'm sitting there. I've gone. She's like, where you are, Joe? I've gone. I know Sean, you know. I'm a comedian too. Bro, the way she looked at me. <laughs> yeah, because imagine someone in A&E on a Friday night just goes, With a head injury. I know yeah. Sean Walsh. I'm a comedian too. That's how it sounded. I know Sean Walsh. You, I'm, who do but, you find in A&E? Nutters, bro. Everyone looked at me like weird. She didn't even, she didn't even answer me. Yeah, because she thought you were mental. And I thought, I can't tell her no Baba Tunde either. She's going to be like, definitely like yeah. <laughs> I'm thinking about definitely. No, like, Tunde might have been a bit Just more believable, yeah. you know. It would have been more believable. Anyway, you, know, yeah. you know, Matt Hancock as well, dude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I used to be his accountant. <laughs> I, I just feel like some madman in A&E. Like, I was like, ah. Oh. You know what I find with A&E though? The last time I went to A&E, I broke a few of my ribs. And I remember you sitting there. How'd you do it? Playing football. Oh. But I remember like you sitting there and you, 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 you pissed. <laughs> yeah, I ended up. Yeah, basically, I gazed twice my eyes landing on top of me. It was very oh. unpleasant. Yeah. But you're sitting there and you, you're in pain. So you're annoyed and you, you're waiting for ages. And you're thinking like, I've got to wait all this time because all these other dickheads are in here with whatever's wrong with them. Yeah. And then this guy walks in. Yeah. And his leg is mashed. Like he's in, a, he's they've put him in like a hospital wheelchair. His legs up here, this young crackhead looking geezer. And I'm listening to him now, and he's like, "Oh, someone said, oh, what happened to your leg?" And he was like, "Oh, I was drinking at the local skate park." This man looked about thirty, by the way. He's like, "I was drinking in the local skate park, and I, I got in a shopping trolley and tried taking it down the half pipe." It's in Birmingham. Uh, yeah, in in uh, okay, in Heartlands. Okay. And I'm sitting there, and I'm just thinking. People like you shouldn't be allowed to use the NHS. You know what I mean? Like if you're if you've done something that dumb, you think you should just let them rock. You should be like, yeah, so make them pay. Yeah, make them pay. Because now it's like what I've, I, yeah, I can't. You've got to break it down, isn't it? Like, what if they start asking, well, Lavelle, wh why did you go down the stairs? Make some more. Nah, that's a bit... it's too techy. You just yeah, but you didn't go down everyone. the stairs in a shopping trolley. Exactly. Did you, so? Yeah, exactly. I was walking down the stairs normal. Do you. I know what you're saying about the people deliberately hurting themselves and stuff. But... That's not deliberate. He didn't obviously try what and hurt himself. Was he, he was trying to nail a move, innit? Yeah, but the yeah, success rate of that was in a lot of pain at the low. time. Yeah, but it, yeah, but you've only cracked Hold ribs on. as nothing, man. You're in a high attach bracket. You should have booper, to be honest with you. What are you? I'm about, about high. <laughs> <laughs> you just, 
You should have this, been... this man is not my accountant. He's just a accountant. <laughs> All right. He should have a. Why don't you have private med? You definitely have private med. I haven't. Trust me, I've seen you in a turtleneck. You've definitely got. <laughs> <laughs> I should have. Well, we know what happened to Steve Jobs, so I have definitely. I just Ooh. do everything. Oh, you have private no. med, didn't it? Nah, nah, you do, man. No, you should do. Yes, you do. You're part of the NHS. You're part of the NHS. You're injured and you've got money. You've got private 100%. medical. 100%. You work in banking, he, mate. If he works at NHS, then he knows how bad they are, isn't it? Yeah. I don't work for NHS. Oh, is that this what you, you told to my man? You did That's get what a discount. You discount. told the guy to. Yeah. You said you get blue light discount. Oh, yeah. I just got a card, bro. Oh, man. You're, you're ripping this country apart at the same time. This is where it starts. You, people, you the, the foundations. People like me pay a lot of tax as well. All right. What? <laughs> I'm not giving the 50 bags back. I'm keeping that. I'm going, I'm going straight to flannels. Shut up, you're spending flannels. Straight, straight to flannels. Hey, the, why the, flannels literally, out of all the shops you could the designer, get to? The designer arm of Sports Direct. It is. It's <laughs> like you're going. Right, I'm going to Harrods. It's like the USC. Right, then, right, then, I'm going to Harrods then. I'm going to Harrods. This man said I live in Berlin. I'm going to House of Fraser. <laughs> I'm going <laughs> to the clearance sale. <laughs> Anything owned by Mike Ashley. Mike. <laughs> well, that's the thing. If you'd buy gums. Nah, I wouldn't buy gums really. What would you do? You're keeping the 50 bags because you're a scumbag. What you do? She should have took care of it. If she had to look at family that bad, she'd have looked after it. Actually, how the fuck do you leave a duffel bag exactly. full of money on the high street? So I'm keeping. I'd want to hear her. Man, we've explain. all lost something, right? It's not not fifty bags. Yeah, you'd be I'm a little a... bit more careful with that. Though. I've done the thing before. Bro, I'll you tell you get, what, yeah, you my don't neighbor, get money at the cash my point. neighbor came out of his car, yeah, went into his yard. He had ten grand in an envelope. Yeah, where's this guy? Where, live? Do, where do you live? <laughs> on my on my road, yeah, ten in grand. Ch- Chelsea, in it? Nah, ten grand in an envelope, yeah. <laughs> And just said the one fancy part of London, he know. Yes. <laughs> 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 you live at Stamford Bridge, isn't it? <laughs> Mayfair, isn't it? Monopoly, isn't it? <laughs> right, you come out of the car, 10 grand in an envelope, yeah? No, it was in a pencil case. It was in a pencil case. <laughs> no, but the pencil case is important. The pencil case is important. 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 The pencil case is important. He put the pencil case on the wall while he went into the yard to get something, yeah? So the door's open, he's just popped his head, he's put all his stuff on the wall outside his own house, That's yeah? That's a draw. Hold on, bruv. Put the, put the keys of his car, the envelope, all of that on the, on the thing, yeah? Gone into the yard to get something. Old lady walks past, sees the pencil case. She's like, oh, my grandkid would like that. Takes the pencil case, carries on, yeah? Gone, gone with the 10 bags. My man comes out, sees the 10 bag gone. He's screaming the street down, crying. Knocks on everyone's doors. So he knocks on my door because I got CCTV, right? He's like, can you tell me? But it's too far down. We can't see who took it. Couple hours pass, yeah? And I get a phone call on the house phone saying, are you, is my dad's old school friend. Back how in how the long day. ago was he? Um, maybe a year ago. You got a house phone, bro. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you got a landline. It's like one of them that spins round, like. isn't it? Come on, but man. landlines are important. But who? But I mean, you need it for the broadband, right? So just... no, I got don't, three don't cordless don't, phones. You don't, you don't, need, house, don't you know? need landline for uh, for broadband, you know. Right. So no. you call him off the landline, yeah? No, so my landlord rings. It's, it's, I needed it. It was obviously important for this story. <laughs> <laughs> the landline phone rings. My dad answers it, and it's it's his old school friend, and he's like, "You live on." road right cool my mum was walking past and she picked up a pencil case but she gave it she gave it to the kid and the kids opened she didn't she didn't look inside she just gave the pencil case to the kid kids opened it playing with 10 grand the dad comes in going what the fuck is this calls my yard my dad knows what happened because he's heard the guy screaming and he's asked for the cctv so then my dad says yeah bring the pencil case back with the money goes and knocks on my man's door and tells him we found your money Come and get it, and he gave the money back to him. What color was the people who took the thingy? <laughs> what that took in the pencil case, yeah. That took the they're, they're Pakistani. Oh, is it? Yeah. That and sounded that, like a plot to the Streets album or something like that. You know, that, also, the, you know the, the big detail that got me caught up in that was the, the way Raj said it. It was like, oh, so my dad's old mate rang him and he said, you, you live on the road, don't it? You live on road. I know you were blanking out the yeah. road, but the way you said it is like, your dad walks around in a tech police, bro. <laughs> 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 he just wore jeans for the first time at the age of 60. Yeah. Mad, isn't it? What kind? Your dad. Yeah, Levi's, bro. Levi's. Well, that's it. Cuts. Well, that's um, <laughs> cuts. So what I'm saying is people do leave money lying around. Okay. That's a true story as well. He got the money back. He was, so if he did guess, guess what he gave us for guess what he gave us for getting the Tenna. money back? Tenna. The pencil case. A box of Ferrero Russian. 
Oh, fucking <laughs> hell. Ten bags. Are you mad? This is what we like, got. I wouldn't have gave the ten bags back. I would have kept it. No, of course it. you wouldn't have. I wouldn't have. No, I know you wouldn't have. Yeah. I feel like putting it in a pencil case is worse than putting it in a duffel bag. No, but mm-hmm. that's how people take takings from a shop, isn't it? Put in. I'm telling you, oh, that's a draw. 100%. That was an insurance Well, he dropped job. his own yard. Yeah. Insurance job. No, we got the money back. Yeah, probably put a You can't insurance. Scam. You can't insure something for leaving some kind of ward. You can insure yourself. cash. Not for that you amount. Got, on your sure. home insurance, you can. Not for 10 bags. Yeah, nah, but you got the 10 bags back, so we could have put a claim in. They but you don't get 500 quid on the home profit. insurance. 500 pound profit, mate. Think like a businessman. You're, and then you claim, you put excess in and the claim in, and your insurance going up. You don't have an excess on cash. You're still putting a claim in. Yeah. And you left it on the wall, so it's your fault. Make it up. Why are you, you frauding people? Then you smash anyway, I work in insurance as well. That's, that's fraud. Yeah. So um, anyway. Um, so people do leave money around. Okay. Anyway, so that's how you leave 50 grand. You answer the question because you're the one answering the questions all I'm the time. giving the money back. You're giving it back? Uh, maybe half. You're going to say you found half of it? You yeah, know? I'm going to say I found a bag, but there was only 25 grand in it. Are you gonna... Okay. Do you nah, believe, do you believe, do you believe in karma? Th- the thing is, yeah. if you're going to take half, you might as well take all yeah. of it. Yeah, I won't be able to live with myself. That's, like, that's, that's bad vibes. Hold on. Grand. Everyone's saying they'll give the money back. It's bad yeah. vibes. No, I think I'll give the money like, back. Yeah. 50 grand right. not going to change your life. Do, 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 do you believe in karma? Nah, I don't believe in karma. You know, nah. He doesn't believe in karma. 50 grams is not going to change your life. Condom. <laughs> is it? No matter how many times you go flannels, it's not going to change your life. I can't grams. believe Yeah, to be fair, you should give it if back. It was a, if it was a million pounds, was the first then it might be go. different. Because what? You said flannels was the first place you'd go. You don't so deserve that's, it. That's yeah. you should yeah. give I'm, I'm, I'm keeping the 50 grand. Do you know how expensive nappies are? Why do you? Where's nappies? I've got a little boy. Right. He, he, needs, he needs to go private. He's going to go nappies. He's going to end up like me. I'm he, keeping the 50 grand. So hard, Is that your immediate thought like when you find that I'm much money? Like, oh, shit, at least I can buy some nappies now. Yeah. <laughs> You'll get a bit more than nappies, bruv. Nah, you go to um, flannels and get some nappies. No, nah, I'm there. keeping it because that person should have looked after their money, it. You could empty flannels and sell like 45 grand left. All right, but if you left the money, yeah. would you expect it back? No, because I've lost it. Okay, you'd just be cool with that gun. I wouldn't be cool, but it's gone, innit? I've lost it. It's gone. That's nah, it. what you would I'd I'd get the news. I'd put the bat signal out. I'd do all sorts. You do what? Bat signal? Put the bat signal out and everything. I'd want that money back, you know what I mean? Yeah, of course. You'd, you'd... Like I wouldn't just be like, oh, it's gone. Cool. Well, she's on keep TV. it moving. She's on TV. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But the boss just like that. Nah, if I lose my money, it's gone. All right. Keep it stepping. Nah. You lot are just doing this for the camera, innit? What saying? He, saying uh, I'd Jay, be sad if I lost fifty Jay, no, grand. Jason would give back the money. I know you would, but you, you ain't giving back the money, or you, you ain't Why giving am back I the not money. Giving back the money? I know you before comedy. Well, you, I don't know you before comedy. But I know you from Birmingham. I know what you're like. You're yeah, scum. But you just told. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you just yeah. told me I'm in a higher tax bracket now, so I don't need the money. Everyone can do some extra money, innit? Mm. I don't tax need. I don't need well. nappies tax either because I'm responsible. Right. So what we're we saying, <laughs> you, you're, you're. I'm giving it back. You're giving it back. You're... I'm keeping it. You're keeping it. I'm giving it back. So you like coming out for drinks then with that money? Huh? You can get I mean, I'll come out for drinks. It's on you, isn't it? It's, yeah. on, it's on your conscience, not mine. I'll drink. I'll drink. I'll, 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 even though you know where the money's come from, you still have to oh, drink. Yeah, but yeah. you got, you, de- right? you got a death on your hands, like you know. You got a death on your hands. Oh, swear, just. I'm just. And then not even a word. I'd probably give it back. I would send the card to the funeral then, innit? Send a nice card. Keeping that money. My mum would be like, you know that scene okay. in Breaking Bad when Bill Burr and the other geezer are rolling around on the pile of cash? He'd just yeah. send them that picture in a card. <laughs> <laughs> Feels bad. Or say sorry. 50, 50 G's ain't going to get you that far now. Yeah, yeah. That, but obviously, I know 50 grand ain't going to, like you said, ain't, like you said, ain't life changing. And it's not, it's, you got to clean that money. Where's it come from? So you got to have to have it in cash oh, all yeah. the time. In 50s yeah. as well. Like, I wouldn't even know where to spend a 50 pound now. I don't think I've ever had a 50. Sorry, I don't know why I You just don't see 50s, any. You don't lie. Like, my man just laughed at me, bro. <laughs> you know what I do? I just buy it, put it all in Bitcoin. That's what I do. That's a bro. Bruv, you're a problem. <laughs> Swear to God. This guy is going to flatter You're a problem, bro. I don't know if you deserve us. money, bro. It's a good job this is an investment I'm gonna podcast. I'm going to get an NFT. <laughs> I'm going to buy, buy two Bitcoins. Oh, my God. Right. I mean, <laughs> Next question. Next, question. Next question. I think we'd like, so we're saying overall, we would Three give the money Three quarters of the pod are good people is what we've established. Yeah, yeah. yeah. One member of the pod might not be here next week. Okay, I changed my answer. I'll give it back. Whoa, whoa. Oh, so you're, yeah, you're, yeah. A you're a sheep as stuff. well. You're a sheep to top it off. <laughs> nah, because you know what it is? I, I want people to think, oh, he's nice, isn't it? <laughs> so, tell them well, we have beef in any of these. Hypothetically, right, I would... Episode one as well. Do you know well, what yeah. is mad, yeah? Is if you got it in your hand, you might think different. 
Oh, that's like you know when people say like, listen, I give you a million pound, but you got to get. You know that you know that picture of that big big guy with his dick out. You know what I'm talking yeah. about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Go on. yeah, yeah. Million pounds, he fucks you in the ass. Yeah, you doing it? Would not you do it? You're not doing yeah. it. Not but if the chance. cash was in front of what, you, what, what, how big his dick is? What about, what about five million? It doesn't matter. Ten it doesn't million? change how big his Ten dick millions? is. Ten Nah, hundred. No, million? no. But what I'm saying I is, if the, die. If the you remember that video that, that we all saw in school of the woman that got fucked by a horse? You wouldn't do it for hundred million. She died. Yeah, he's not a horse. By a horse, if you're letting him fuck you, have you seen the size of it? Yeah, but but. Hold I'm up. doing it for a million. I'm doing it. Mohammed is doing it for a hundred. Like, doing it for a hundred. <laughs> no, no, no. You're so you're I'm so tight. He could probably, yeah. he could probably walk around with you attached. Like, it's... <laughs> uh, you don't do it for a hundred million. The no. girls out in Dubai getting flown to Dubai getting shit on for like a hundred ten grand. Yeah, good for them. Ten grand. Yeah. Bruv, you, with the money you stole, you can get five girls. <laughs> <and shit. laughs> you you, you whoa, get a whoa, shit on a family. It. I found it. I found it. Um, well, listen, what I'm saying is if the money's in front of you, you might be like, oh, actually, look at all that cash. Yeah, if the money's in front of me, but he's behind me. Yeah. Nah, yeah, but, I, know, but, I know what I'm worried what about, about it, at though? that you point. Asked, you know it's important question, but how long is it going to last? 10 mil. Nah. 10 mil. Till he busts, isn't it? Yeah, but how long is that going to be, though? Because <laughs> <laughs> it could be two minutes, it could be an yeah, hour. Exactly. Nah, it it be, it yeah, exactly. Nah, it wouldn't be long, to be fair. My bum house tight, mate. It'd be, it'd be finished. Do you, do, you get, do you get lube? Yeah, yeah, all the, all the precautions. Poppers and that, okay. doing it. I'm not. It's basically like getting an arm up your ass, though. You realise that, yeah? Yeah. Like Paddy from Emmerdale, the vet. I'd be happy driving my Bentley. I so forget about it when I'm driving my Bentley. Your sexuality's got a price on it, then. Yeah, Lavelle. Yep. Pay for therapy, and I'm good. What? What? Does everybody know that it's happened? What, does it go on telly or something? Yeah, like, does everyone... Oh, for, that, for that much money, is it like, yeah, does, does yeah, everyone like, know it's like happened? Almost Kim or does no one know? Kim K-esque, you know, the video went out. So would you still do it? You get loads everyone of, knows you as get well. You get loads of LGBT fans coming to your shows, for yeah? What are you? <laughs> <laughs> like, look, you be like, oh, he supports the community. No, don't come to your show. He That's doesn't how you support, support the community. The community. <laughs> he supports his back balance, you pussy out. <laughs> <laughs> About he supports the community. Nah, I'm not doing it. Your you bubble's got a prize. Fucking hell, Lavelle. But everyone knows, you, for yeah? 10 million, all you're not doing man, it for 10 million. All your man in Birmingham know. You're not doing it for 10 million. Bro, I'm asking Wait, you. I'm buying a house in Chelsea. I don't need it for 10, like, 10 million. Stop Can I buy a house in Chelsea? Can I buy a house in Chelsea for 10 million? It'd be like one of them dead houses in Chelsea. Ten. Ten million. Nah, you get nice houses, ten mil. Well, I've changed though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, buying, I'm leaving Birmingham then. You'd Let's have get... to move to a different country far, far away, I think. Yeah. He'd, be one, of he'd be one of those geezers that gets rich, yeah, and then he's broke within a month. Yeah. No, wouldn't. He's a lottery guy. No, wouldn't. No, wouldn't. Buy a fucking van and just drive into shit. No, wouldn't. Yeah. Yeah, the lottery. Yeah, my man, Michael Carroll. Yeah, he's one of the Bitcoin Derby in his back garden. How for you? No, wouldn't, because I buy loads of Bitcoin. <laughs> Point prover. Nah, um, nah. <clears throat> I'll do it for ten for ten million. Would you do it for a mil? <laughs> Maybe million. not a mil. Ten mil though. Ten mil. You, He's yeah. haggling the price. <laughs> you said a hundred million. I'd do it for ten. Well, I would have said I would have said yes to the ten for you. Got to the hundred, so I've lost out in it. Ten. I'm doing it. Okay. I'd even do it twice for twenty mil. <laughs> you see, you're starting to sound keen for this. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like you're slowly going to do this for free. My yeah, man's going to start going, but you've seen the picture, don't you? You have seen him. You've seen my man. Yeah, it's hypothetical, isn't it? Yeah. Tw 10 mil. So there's a lot of things until they happen. 10 mil. Nah. It only takes one person watching who's won the lottery to offer me that. To offer you that and get him. Oh, then, he, if, this, still if, alive, if anyone watches this, episode one comes out and you don't see me on episode two, that's why, isn't it? Yeah, you got I've ragged got 10 out. Mil, you got ragged I've got 10 mil and I'm gone. <laughs> you got ragged out. I don't need the podcast man. anymore. I'm gone. Man got his bowels cleaned, <laughs> oh his prostate God. checked. <laughs> oh. What you you don't walk. You don't walk for a little how bit. How long? For a couple of hours a day. Your asshole would whistle on a windy day, man, if you if you did that. I don't think I don't think you'd get it back to Nah, no. And chance. you know when you fuck up that sphincter cell, yeah, you just start shitting yourself. I can pay for the repairs. You know that, you know that little the bit that keeps <laughs> I can it. Can pay for the repair. Mate, you're not. You're not going to buy a house in Chelsea. You're not fixing a damaged sink. Like, <laughs> a house in Chelsea, two Bitcoin, a designer asshole. That's what he's spending <laughs> his money on. Yeah, yeah. And then he's going to get a scarf from flannels. And then the rest is flannels. <laughs> yeah, don't forget nappies as well, because I'm a good, good You'll have to wear nappies. You'll need it yeah, for the rest of your life. Yeah. What, and you've got to tell your you how you got that money as you well. You don't need to know. Oh, he shit. will. It's public knowledge how you got the money. Trust me. You think he's not going to Google his dad? Does he, does he want money? Nice things? <laughs> I think he wants to not get bullied at school. To be <laughs> now we're going to school, a nice school, and it private school, you won't get bullied. Yeah, because all of his parents are going to, all of his friends' parents are going to be Actually, like, they're oh, not going to like me because they know how I got yeah, the money. My dad's it. a property investor like, oh, or he got, owns McVitie's. Yeah, my dad got, got, got rags <laughs> 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 
<laughs> you still doing it? Still doing it, man, for 10 mil? Five. Oh, mate. Not five. You know At what? Five, I got if you suck them off. Yeah, five. I got to re- respect you. Everything. For five yeah. mil? Yeah. Because I don't want you to edit and say pounds and that. Five mil, so people know, it. Do you yeah. want it in your mouth or your face? You can pull it all over me for five mil. Fucking nah. <laughs> you got a price, boy. I got to respect these. A bag chaser, isn't it? Yeah, but where's your self respect, you scum? For five mil. <laughs> I feel like your price is a lot yeah, but, lower than that. Yeah, but that's, yeah, but yeah that, I think he's just being. Yeah, like, you went in too high. This is the problem. Yeah. yeah. Nah, nah, nah. And that's that's like life changing money, though, isn't it? He's Millions. gonna find that duffel bag. Just take one fifty and go. I'm gonna get fucked for this. <laughs> <laughs> Do it for fifty quid. Straight down blue belt sweet. Yeah. Nah, nah, nah. No more worth. It's five Ten mil. mil. <laughs> Fuck you now. Would you do it? <laughs> no. Oh. You're not lying, man. I wouldn't do it. No, Anyone that's... watching? You, would you do it? But that's a baseball bat up your ass. Mm. I've got a story about that actually, but I ain't doing it on air. So you, you start in saying I've got a story, but I'm not going to say it. about a round as girl, girl, like girl do that sexual shit. What on you? Nah, nah, nah. Just you be, used just, it on someone. Nah, I weren't there. Luckily, I was in a group chat with people <laughs> that were involved in it. Oh yeah, but I, I was working out of town. Oh, you would have been there. I was busy. Nah, right? Would have probably. Yeah. Wait, yeah. <laughs> well, they just put a round about her. It was mad. Hold on, did what? They just got some... A rounders bat. Yeah, some woman basically said to one of my boys, it's like, you round up some of your pals. I want to get a train ran. And then... Can you explain what a train is just because we got any people that don't know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wanted (laughs) wanted several men to to run through her, basically, yeah. Okay. And then she turned up at my mate's flat. Loads of my other mates kind of went round. It was all very, like, above board and consensual and all that, yeah. I like how you added that consensual But at one point... But at one point... (laughs) At one point, uh, she started just doing a madness, apparently. She was like, yeah, I want you to film it all, blah, 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 blah mad disrespectful and all that. And then she was like, oh, I forgot my bag of toys at home. And my pal just went, yeah, wait there, I've got something. Went and got like a baseball bat that he had in his yard in case anyone broke in. And she just went, yeah, go on then. Boom. Up her. Mad. Yeah. Mad and then what? Just straight up. Whole thing. Yeah. What happened after that? She, home she, run, uh, baby. Yeah. Home I'll run. I'll tell you what happened after. She she internal bleed got, got ready, thanked everyone, and then said, "Anyway, the kids are in bed at home. I need to get back." And uh, that was that. Really, everyone went home and uh, never looked at each other again. Man, you weren't she, there. Did, I wasn't there. Did she? What? I'd have gone round for a laugh. You know what I mean? Would you join in? Did nah. she? Did she take the bat? Run the train. Did... One of them. Nah, she was. Did she take did the bat? Did she take she the bat or did she leave the bat it. with them? Nah, I left the bat. <laughs> left the bat. So someone breaks into his yard, they're just gonna get pussy. Yeah, black, to a black the face. on that bat is disgraceful. Oh, yeah, 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 mad. She took the whole bat. Boy, I don't have any stories like that. I'm a... She took the whole bat. Nah, like the handle was coming out, innit? You know I'm, what I mean? I'm a, yeah, I'm a church <laughs> Bro, that's still like up her guts though. Yeah, like yeah. a baseball bat's like. Yeah, fair play, man. She was kidding me. Yeah, but you can get a baby out of there, innit? So. Huh? Your babies ain't this fucking big though. Like long ways. They're scrunched what say, up. What you say? The baseball was hitting her lungs and that. You know, like, <laughs> the actual bit of the baseball bat is probably because the handle's a long bit of it, isn't it? I don't know. I won't know. I just. I but didn't take no pictures. I just saw things. Oh yeah, they all did. Yeah. She wanted it all did filmed. You see him? So she could watch it. Yeah. So how much of the bat was in? Like the handle was out. The bat. Was like, in. If this is the bat, how much was in? Tell me to stop where it was hanging out. Bat right there. So that much was hanging out. That which was in, I reckon. That much was it? Okay. That's yeah. like me going in. It's normal. <laughs> 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 uh, <dickhead. laughs> what uh what was that other one? Read that other one from the, in the No, group. hold on, hold on. Wait, what do we say? We we all give them the money back and you're getting fucked in the ass. That's what we learned, right? Yeah. 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 For, for ten mil. For ten mil. Because uh, certainly you're gonna try to edit that clip and just say you're gonna get fucked in the ass. Anyway. But it's too late because it was already a pause before you said for ten mil. You said yeah, so we can just crop it. It's fine. Mad. Mad. How's everyone's week been anyway? Good week. I ain't been to hospital, so that's good. Okay. Yeah, decent. How's yours been, Jeff? Pretty steady, really. Not really done a great deal. Went to watch the rugby at the weekend. That was pretty shit. <laughs> Because you're a football fan, but you just, just a rugby. dead game in it, really. Rugby, yeah, it's I'm not, not really fan. like you go there and you're like, it's boring. Rugby is a bit dead in it. Yeah. What What did your boys do in the football on the week? Did they play? Oh, you said yeah. the football podcast. No, we're not doing this. 
We just spoke about. I don't want to hear about Ramda. Yeah, he said a football <laughs> sports. He said a he said a sport. He said a sports. He said a football podcast. We're talking about our hobbies, man. What's your hobbies? Uh, What's my hobby? So I was about to call you. I was about to call you Taffy. You know, I just read his name. Sorry. Um, What's my hobby? Yeah, what's your, what's your hobby? Go to the gym in my spare time. and That's that, a hobby? You know. The gym? Yeah. That's not a hobby. Yeah. The gym is not a hobby, is what, it? What do you mean gym's not That's a hobby? That's a lifestyle. It's a yeah, it's a health thing, isn't it? It's not a hobby. Okay. Um, Mate, that looks like a hobby to me. Nah. Um, what, because he's not taking it serious? <laughs> yeah. Mad. That's fucking up. What, what's, what's your hobby then? Uh, Football. It's not a hobby, though, isn't it? I don't play it professionally. Oh, you played last week, though, wasn't it? Yeah. Also, is comedy your hobby then? <laughs> <laughs> you drove this man I drove around him. the country last week <laughs> and bought him back you know I bought him from Birmingham yesterday yeah. you offered though you actually offered oh last time innit and you were supposed to be busy last week you know what you did slept the whole way you were supposed to be busy I got a brain injury though innit yeah what got happened got <laughs> you got him instead yeah stuck with old uh, dick guzzler over here now, I appreciate you taking me to. <laughs> appreciate you taking me for lecturer. Thank you. I to give that that money was back, and you huh? get fucked in the ass. <laughs> <laughs> Episode one. Uh, I can't find the other you question. Find it. Let me. It's in the group, man. Yeah, yeah. Uh, wasn't it? Um, would you rather get? Oh, uh, would you rather be left at the altar, or left after one month of marriage? It's cheaper if you're left at the altar, isn't it? It's already paid nah, for. Nah, nah. It's already paid for. Yeah, point. but you don't lose half of everything. In yeah, the, but after one month of marriage, you get all the presents and the money, isn't it? But then you can still. I think you get an annulment at that point, you know, so you might not lose half of everything anyway. What's an annulment? Like when I think when you're not married for like isn't an annul- time, No, isn't an annulment you don't like consummate divorce. the marriage? Yeah, there's other things as well, though, which which you can get an annulment from. <clears throat> it's embarrassing either way, though. Isn't but it? just say, forget all that. It's like, more losing embarrassing half. at the altar. Forget all that losing yeah, half. Yeah, you don't want to do it in front of everyone. Like. Yeah, that's embarrassing. I do the, the month later because then you can kind of pass it off as anything, really. Yeah, I'll just lie in it and say I left her in it, even if yeah, she left me. You'd be few. I tell all my friends in the group, I left her. So like, look cool, but my friends. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it's cool either way. You've wrecked your marriage, yeah. but, yeah. <laughs> but that's pretty yeah, cool. But, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but rather that than she left me. Ma, I, I, I went to a wedding uh, this week, isn't it? Or last weekend. And I took a picture of my boy saying, another fallen soldier. Mm. Yeah, because another one lost to marriage. The amount of people that thought my boy died. <laughs> I didn't realise I did it on Remembrance, Remembrance Weekend and oh, all of that. Right. That was poorly timed. Um, yeah, this, was, yeah, this was Saturday. I it? didn't realise I did all of that. And then I put it out and then I had to put a little disclaimer to say that nah, he's still alive, but he just got married. The video but, where you dashing the confetti in oh, his mouth cracked got, me up. Though, I got a say. screenshot. So he sent me an actual, like, prof- the professional picture of it that the photographer took. It's just it's your brilliant. childish voice just going, <laughs> right in his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, it was the best. On his big best best shot. Best You're shot. not even making it to the altar, I don't think, if you were getting married. Oh, uh, you wouldn't catch me, man. Plus, we we don't have altars. We walk around a fire in it about 25 times. Mm. So you wouldn't make it to the fire? <laughs> Get stood no. up at the fire pit like you're on Love <laughs> Island, bro. <laughs> you have to have an Indian wedding, traditional Indian wedding. It depends who I marry, innit, I guess. What if you marry, like a, what if you marry a, a Gora? A Gora? Yeah, uh, the Indian wedding. Tell him what a Gora is. No, he knows. I know. I'm from Birmingham. Yeah, he knows as well. Yeah, Gora. Yeah, Gora. What's a Gora? Is it not just a, from a part, of, part of India? Nah. No. Nah. What's a Gora then? You're a Gora. Yeah. You're a white, oh, a white person. person. Yeah. Oh, okay. Probably. Listen to more mist, man. Big up mist. The mist. My arm, no. I've never been called yeah. a Gora before. You must oh, yeah. have. You, you date, are, you date, I have behind my back. Yeah, you <laughs> dated Asian women. Yeah. I was going to say, I have yeah, yeah, by yeah, a girl I was thinking back in the day. All right, first of all, leave them alone. All right? What? <laughs> 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 no, they're not for you. You're going to leave white girls alone? No. <laughs> mm, okay. What? Why not? All right, look. This is how I look at you, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> I have nothing to say here. But what I'm saying <laughs> it's it's all right the other way. <clears throat> what, you with a white yeah, girl, yeah. but it's not all right me with a I I remember um I think I told you about this, this Indian girl that I was seeing for a bit years ago. And we went away for the weekend, like down to Devon. <laughs> we walked into this pub and it was like the record had slipped in the pub, man. Like the whole place just turned and just looked at us like, what is going on here, man? 
it's mental. Yeah, it's but I've been to Devon. It's like it's definitely like that. And this was this was only like five years ago. Yeah, and even, even some people are like really nice. That's what scares me about the UK is because yeah, they're like quietly racist. Oh, I, I yeah, but I thought that's like that's what it was like. They were nice because they were curious. They were like, had as this happened, then. you know what yeah. I mean? <clears throat> I um did a gig in Liz Liz Curd, yeah. That's Where Liz Where? Curd? Where is, where is that? Where's that? I think it's Plymouth. Liz okay, Curd. I think so. Cornwall something. Oh, do you mean Lizard? No, Liz Curd, man. It's a place. No. Not cool, late in Buzzard or something. No, no, no. It's like six hours away, man. I'm all right, all six, right. seven hours away, yeah. It's you me. pay for the train? <laughs> no, it comes with the thingy. Imagine bumping train for six hours. <laughs> I'd be sweating <laughs> the whole journey, bro. Yeah, Just but hiding in every single stuff. toilet. I had a ticket, I had a ticket. But yeah, so we got in there, yeah. It's me and Sachin, yeah. And um, we, 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 uh, we got accommodation for did. So we left the gig. We're at the gig and we're still there, right? These come up to us and said, oh, um, are, you, are you the um, MC and DJ? Bro. <laughs> This was like last year. <laughs> you know, like. Why didn't you say yes? Man said what do you mean, why did I say yes? Man you should have just played with DJ it. DJ looking MC huh? deep. <laughs> a man thought I was Stormzy or something, bro. This is what I'm trying to say. There's certain parts of the UK which are still moving mad. But yeah, man thought I was still. Yeah, that was, that's the story, but yeah. I would have run it. I, no, no. Remember, wait, wait, I'm like, yo, I'm too far away from home. I'm with Sachin. Have you seen Sachin? Yeah. He's like seven stone in it. Yeah, he's tiny, man. I would just got a beat up on my own. He would have watched and been like, you know, he's that guy in it. <laughs> what are you doing with that sleep? <laughs> I had an itch. <laughs> what's, what's wrong with it? I was just talking about fitness is my passion and just rolled that sleep <laughs> up. <laughs> the the camera camera's side as well. I had an itch. But yeah, it was a bit mad because I'm like, yo, I'm too far from home. I just had to walk out. Oh, was it on like that? Were they big guys? There was about six of them. Couple yeah. of shave heads in that. But what's going to happen? They just asked you if you was the DJ. Bro. I well, thought he was going to get a, American history a rap rap in Liz Curd. <laughs> yeah. So, why not ask the other white guys in there if there was a rapper? Well, that's me. Because they've booked they've booked two people to come to the venue to rap. And... That's interesting, actually. You should have stuck around to see who the actual MC is. No, no. There was no MCs with. on the night. It was just... They just assumed... No, it was actually Stormzy. Who they was... Were... Isn't it? <laughs> You in the real going to Liz Curd in, in 2021. No, but what I'm saying yeah, is, if they booked an MC and they a... didn't book an MC, how do you know? Because we were doing comedy there and there was no more events on there. So then, not... why did they ask you if you're a rapper? If they've because just seen you do, how hey, bad? Maybe was they need MC for the comedy <laughs> night and DJ nah, for the comedy man. night. It's a rapper, just me said rapper, man. You said MC DJ. Shut up, man. <laughs> Shut up. You look like a garden gnome. You know. <laughs> <laughs> Smash his lashing out there. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you backed him into a corner. <laughs> good, good, no. <laughs> well, um, yeah. You have got proper Kevin Hart energy in it. Like, you just you just start lashing out at everyone in the immediate vicinity. <laughs> Notice he said nothing about your comedy there. <laughs> <laughs> well, now nah, apparently his set was so dead they thought he was a rapper. <laughs> just giving it a go. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, do, do you remember that gig? We were talking about Kevin Hart and that, that day. What gig was that? When were you watching? Yeah, but when was, when was yeah, but when was this? <laughs> no, nah, we talked with Richard. This was not long ago. Richard and that. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The other week in Birmingham. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what happened to Kevin Hart when he was um coming up? Tree said Neil threw a phone book at him when he was on stage. Oh you know yeah, that? yeah, I did know that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He said the phone book's funny than you. Yeah. I did not. I told Richard Black would do that to me. He told you told him to do that to you. Yeah, mm. he didn't do it though. Yeah. I actually, did. did <laughs> he went. I'm oh, Richard Black. Would mate, don't know what to do. <laughs> Which <laughs> <was> just... <laughs> <laughs> Did he say that? No, nah, no, nah, he just played one, two, three, four, get with a wicked on repeat. <laughs> <laughs> Which every time I see him now, I always ask him if he'll play it for me and he never does. That was an alright gig. I, there was two gigs that night. I kind of died on one, to be fair. Sounds about right. No, I didn't die, but there was just a bit there was a bit of a weird audience, innit? You did well in Letchwood though. Letchworth? Letchworth. Mm, it was alright. Right, it was alright. Can't all, can't all be Liz Curds, you know what I mean? Yeah. Can't all have some stinkers. I'd have just got up and spat some bars, man. <laughs> they didn't pay me enough for that. What, the MC? The skinheads? What, they didn't pay someone who's not a rapper enough to rap? I would have done you should have just right, had a go, innit? For the right amount of money, yeah. Okay. All right. But you go electro for 50 quid. <laughs> <laughs> that you spent on your, <laughs> you spent on your travel. <laughs> I gave a discount as well. Yeah. <laughs> Comedy a hobby, my, yeah. Why are you putting on my business out there? Comedy a hobby, yeah. <laughs> you put my business out there for? <laughs> when you can't pay your phone bill after a gig, <laughs> bro, <laughs> it's a hobby. Wow. Well, uh, I don't know what you're on about. Um, I do my taxes, mate. Um, I'm doing well off comedy. Oh, man. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm joking. You're, so, very, you're very successful. To go back to what you were saying, then, so you're, you're saying what? Um, 
uh, at the altar or a month after, isn't it? Or at the fire pit yeah. or a month after. Yeah, yeah. So I'm saying a month after. Because what? You're going to have a banging party. You're going to get peas. You're Indian weddings are sick as well. Who's so paying for the long? wedding? Your missus, we the family, isn't it? Isn't that how yeah. it runs? So, 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 nah, not, 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 not with us. It's already all paid for, no matter what. For. Well, well, you might pay for your own wedding. Father of the bride's well, supposed to contribute. Excuse me, supposed to contribute. But Black people don't really get married like that, innit? So we don't know the rules, innit? <laughs> Why did you bring race into it? Now, anything I say after that is... You, about... you said Indian weddings, so you brought yeah. that into it. And then you kind of felt like you looked at me, innit? So, and you said, how does weddings work? Well, everyone else, we pay for the weddings ourselves, innit? You pay for the wedding, right? I think you pay for your wedding, innit? Everyone chips in and contributes. I'd, I'd, see, I'd see what I can do. <laughs> so what I can whip up. <laughs> what is it? The, what is the bride's? <laughs> Anyone you propose to, he's not getting their wedding. hopes up there. <laughs> yeah, ah, yeah. That's so why I always thought it was work. normal tradition. <laughs> yeah. And, and, what, yeah, I always thought and was what happens? A girl comes to live with the guy's family or the house if they buy a house. Whatever. Yeah, I yeah. thought that was the norm everywhere. How is she the... gonna leave you then? You're sweet. No, I'm saying I thought that women, the women, the the girl's family paid for the wedding. I thought that was every culture. Nah, in our culture, it's just bare sex before before marriage. Yeah. And then Levo ain't got to worry about it. He's going to pop out a ute before marriage. And then he ain't got to leave. No one's going to leave anyone at the altar because he's just going to go and get milk. <laughs> Wait, what? Mm? Never come back. <laughs> Is that what we're doing now? Yeah. <laughs> you know what's mad? You know what's mad? You know, you know we got the pillow to sit on as well. So he won't be behind the mic. He's getting lower. No, he's taking it off. He's taking it off. I'd be amazed if we can still see you on that camera. You probably can't because that's in the way, but he's leaving it. <laughs> well, yeah. Um, so you doesn't want to be on camera I, 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 because I, he's behind on his payments. <laughs> what do you mean? Whoa, 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 whoa! <laughs> but, what behind on what? The payments? What payments? Was it? Was yeah, it? Exactly. What was, that what was it called the CPS? What are they called? Oh, we're talking about CSA. <laughs> CSA. <laughs> <laughs> whoa! Man but, quit his job, so he didn't have to pay in it. <laughs> he's like, I don't make no money. Come at me. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm doing a hobby. <laughs> That's so dumb, but CSA. Yeah. Uh, I see my child every other weekend, all right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, just make sure that child gate still fucking Nah, I'm, I'm, I'm a good dad. I see my child um, four times a week. Who are you telling? I'm just telling the camera. <laughs> just, just putting it out I'm into putting, the universe. I'm going to down the barrel. I'm going to put it out there, like, ca camera two. Yeah, I'm a good dad. Hard crop into Levels. <laughs> you didn't want camera two, you type bastard. Because <laughs> of that CSA paper to it. <laughs> <laughs> Did you say I'm a nah. hard dad? A good dad. Oh, good dad. Yeah, yeah, good dad. <laughs> nah, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't see it now. I, I, uh, I'm involved in my kid's life. No CSA. So, let's not, let's not do this. <laughs> no, we won't. No, that's your dirty laundry. You keep that to yourself. Let's not, let's not do this. We'll be all of that. Yeah. Huh? We'll be all of that. It yeah. doesn't need to be for anything. I'm, I'm a good dad. Yeah. Yep. Got him tomorrow, actually. What are you up to? Are you, are you up to tomorrow? I'm gigging tomorrow. In the day? Yeah. You working? Working during the day. Oh, gig, okay. What are you doing? Working. Oh, are you working as well? Yep. Oh, okay. Cool. What, about you? what are you doing? What am I doing? Uh, He's going to play that I'm a full-time well, comedian. You know what it is? So I, I don't I don't have a boss. I'm like these, like, you know, I'm like a slave, you know, to... <laughs> slave you know, to what? Slave to a nine to five. You know, I can get up. I, I have more control of myself. I can get up when I want to. <laughs> I get up when I want to. Lavelle got laid off. <laughs> yeah. So I do... Full time comedy and I'm a full time dad. Mad. You're everything that's wrong with Facebook. How are you? Full time <laughs> yeah. I'm a full time every how are you person a full -time I've dad? seen. Huh? You have him every other week. How are you a full time nah, dad? I'm, 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 I'm a full time comedian, <laughs> part time dad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Must stay out of the house. Nah, I see, nah, I see, I see, obviously, I see more than that. I wonder. Oh, okay. I see more than that. Yeah. Yeah, full time dad, isn't it? Full time dad, full time comedian. What's that got to do with? Andy, how did we get onto this? Yeah. You're I think he was trying to make a point about he's a full time comedian. You're not, no, you're not trying to talk about CSA and that. He yeah. made my payments, you know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can't, this is what you're trying to do, Joe. Okay. See what this podcast has become. I ain't doing nothing. But, anyways, but you, do you want kids? I don't think I do. I think I'd be good, good at it. I think it'd be. You don't think you're good at it? I ain't got time. It's too much, isn't it? Too much responsibility. But is it your culture? You let the wife do it anyway, the work and that. You know what the thing is? I can see you pissed off, but I think that was genuinely a sincere <laughs> question. <laughs> he just pissed off that he wasn't even trying to do it. a serious question. He's like, come on. Uh, uh, no. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> okay. Uh, it's 2022, man. Um, you know what? We get six months paternity leave now, paid. Mm -hmm. Is it six months now? Yeah, I thought so about maybe it. Maybe it is worth having a kid. Yeah, I just yeah you about... backed out your job at the wrong time, man. I know, isn't it? Just get another one in the world, isn't it? You want to keep the age gap nice as well? No, no, no. You reckon you'll have another one? Um, don't know, you know. Don't know, man. Uh, How old is this one? Um, like 16 months. There's one and a half. One and a half, yeah. What the fuck are you doing with 16 months, man? <laughs> There's 16 months. Nah, I don't know. I think so. I think so. But this age is, 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 is at that age where he's walking and it, walking, running around. So it's a nightmare, man. But it's it, good. good age gap to pop another out now. Nah, I'm good, you know. Yeah, but he's got to find, he's got to find a missus first, isn't it? And, I'm, I'm, and like he says... I'm nah, really... cut down your baby, man. It's just the same one. Rah. You got any more questions? <laughs> yeah, even I want to get off that subject for your for your benefit, man. <laughs> you gonna get me in trouble, you are. I know. Yeah, you gonna get me in trouble. Wow. Man. Um. Yeah. You didn't even answer the first one. What was it? What was it? Left at the altar or left me, after a um... month? I agree with yours because Indian weddings are see. Okay. Yeah. So you want the party? What? What would and you the money? Yeah. Okay, it's I'll... all peas. You don't give presents at Indian weddings. Yeah. You have money. Do you make all your money back that you spent on the wedding? And then boom, she's gone. Prenump before, that's guaranteed. Mm. And then I'm good. She can yeah. bounce. My mom always told me to marry for money. She, I bet she did. Yeah, it's a real Birmingham attitude you got yeah. there. Okay, I've, got, I've got a question for you guys then, wedding related. <laughs> so would you? Would you, if you found that your you found that your um wife to be cheating, right? You found that you got evidence. You found a video. Are you playing it at the wedding, or are you wait until afterwards on the honeymoon? I'm what sending the video. Why would I play dad? it on the honeymoon? Or or, or the break up with the honeymoon? What? But why have I got to make it public? You don't have to make it public. Are you why gonna... can't I do it before the wedding? You found out on the morning of the wedding. So say... why can't I pull her aside and be like, listen, what's this? So you're going to do that then? I'm starting a group chat and sending it to her half of the wedding. Why would you just play it at a big screen and say I've got a speech to do and embarrass her? Would you do that? Because you'd be embarrassed as well. Yeah. I'd be embarrassed. Yeah, you mug, mug yourself off a bit. I'd, really, I'd just send it to her dad and just go deal with this. And then I'd leave. And not go through the wedding? What? I'm still marry her? You mad? I don't want to cringe all those people out. No, you know I mean, that's weird. No, because there was something that happened. And I want to cringe them out. I'll a get you actually, to do a, a set. A woman actually did that. <laughs> a, woman, a woman actually did that. She played it. It's a woman thing to do, though, isn't it? She played it at the wedding. What do you mean? It's a woman thing to do. They like the revenge, isn't it? Like revenge, isn't it? Okay. I think yeah. I saw the video you were on about. Yeah, it's, it was, plays it on like a projector, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. yeah. So I was asking, would you, would you guys do that? <laughs> I think that's fair game, though, isn't it? Like. Yeah, because he's he's hurt, he's embarrassed, so he's or she will. Yeah, will it's not a very nice thing. Is yeah, it? it's a prime of passion, isn't it? At that point, yeah. I That's think you deserve the, the humiliation. Moment. Imagine that. So you'd play at a wedding. Yeah. Because then you can still have a party. Yeah. And mm. then you can go a honeymoon, and you get a sympathy vote as well off of the people, yeah. and they'd be like, "Oh, you bags really a little bridesmaid, you go on a honeymoon like, oh, with her." I suppose, I suppose you can keep all the gifts in it because they've yeah. got them dirty in it. Yeah, exactly. Work. So you come out of it looking better. I think people might take their gifts back. You know, you can't do that. They can't. Well, you're I've not getting married. Like Why that. am I still giving you a gift? Yeah, I'm just being cheated on, isn't it? Where you like post all the money into? The I'm taking the whole of... box. Yeah, yeah. You get one. If I come to your wedding and you play that video on the screen and you're not getting married anymore, I'm taking a whole box. No one's cheating on me. Whoa, okay. Hmm? Why not? Why is that? I'll do it first. Huh? Huh? You'll do it. Have you ever cheated? Yeah. Okay. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> that air pressure was like, I'll save you. Have I'll save you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Have, how many times? Are you a serial cheater? No, only the once when I was younger. How, how young? I was like 17, 18. What, like, how, how, how bad? Like, was you having an affair or just a like one-off? No, I was having an affair still. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lying yeah. about working late and all that. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Pretty <laughs> much, yeah. EastEnders, bro. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. What, how old were you? 18. Okay, he's changing now. He said 17 before, but okay. I think he I said 18. 17. Yeah, I was 18. I bet, I, was, I'd have been working I bet it was last week, I'd have been working in the city centre. So, have yeah. you okay. cheated since? Nah. Uh, mate, when have you known me in a relationship since? Nah, yeah, that's true. Like, I, I, now I just I just cut that out entirely. So you can't, it can't you, happen. So you mean you, you, exactly. you don't have a relationship so you can just sleep with loads of women at once? Is that what you do? <laughs> 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 I'm trying to spin in this on me. <laughs> it's out here, man. No, I'm, just, oh, I'm just curious, isn't it? How, just curious, how, how, so We've only got live. five minutes left on the recording, you know what I mean? This is, we don't, we don't want to go down this road. Have you ever cheated? <laughs> no. Have you ever cheated? You don't, I know you haven't, that's no. 
What the fuck, it's, bro? He's too nice to cheat. He's so much nice to judgment cheat. on this guy. Yeah. Yeah. Why you good, on me? good judgment. Wait, I'm he, taking this. Wait, I'm like, no. Yeah. He, he picked you on the smartest guy, the loyal guy. He wears a, yeah, I, I, I haven't cheated. Huh? I haven't cheated ever. What about the other podcast you were on where you said bear? Yeah. Wow. In about um, uh, Ori's part podcast, mm. I didn't say I cheated on there. No. Nah. Go back and listen to it. Okay. I definitely never said that. <laughs> You've never cheated. No. When I was younger, uh, <laughs> wait, 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 wait. When I was younger, I wouldn't get into relationships on like this guy. I'd be like, look, I'm doing my thing in it, and if you don't like it, you don't like it. You're still doing cheated. that now, bro. Huh? You're still doing that now. Nah, I'm married to my um my work. <laughs> What's I don't that? have time. I don't. You don't have time. No. To cheat. I don't have time to do anything. Um. So you wouldn't get in another relationship now. At the moment, you know, I've got a lot. This of is work. one thing I would say. Like when you cheat, like it's just I don't know how people do it because it's so much admin. Yeah. Like how? Like is how it worth? It, like how do you do it? I did it badly. Yeah, yeah but like I'm thinking like caught, now, yeah, yeah. like the amount that it takes to hide. It, yeah, with everything not, back in the day when he was doing it, it's probably like easy. You, isn't could, it? you like, could only have nine text messages on your phone. Exactly. Right like, whereas yeah, now, that's, yeah, that's if you get 20 big credit on your phone, you know? Yeah. What I mean? It's not worth it, is it really? No, nah, but it's the thrill, isn't it? It's the thrill. No, nah, you know what? I, it's not worth the thrill. And you know what? Like, I agree you know, like, with. Like, yeah, it's not worth the thrill. I agree with you, man. I agree as well. Women no, find out everything. Yeah, I stand by that. I know it sounds like a cliche. Women find out everything. Yeah, no, I get that. If they want to find out, I'm not condoning cheating, but I understand it. Like, it's the thrill, isn't it? No, I, I think it's when I think like you do people it. That, like go, go, uh, no, I've like, got they, be... like public sex. Yeah, but you know, no. it's the thrill yeah, but... of getting caught. Yeah, but... no. right, then. I don't, no, that's I don't... why I like it's it. when you don't want to work on things. It's when you don't want to <laughs> no, work no, no, on I your relationship agree. and do a hard thing. So you undo an easy thing. No, no, no. I don't agree with that's that. That's exactly no. true. No, no, no. no, no, no that's exactly I don't agree with that. I don't agree with that. Right. So I think men and women cheat for different reasons, right? So like men, I don't condone cheating. I don't think cheating's good. Unlike some people. No, 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 no. Pot, 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 pot. We, we probably all know someone that's cheated, right? Well, we, there's one person here that's a cheater. We're going to have to, <laughs> we're gonna have to burn this episode. Yeah, man. one person that's a cheater, right? But when men cheat, right, it's usually because it's a night out. Uh, they're with their friends. Like, you you know, men cheat just because, right? Whereas women cheat. When women cheat, it's worse because women are trying to upgrade and get a better man than they had. Someone that's probably taller. Um, so we're better. So everyone cheats on you. My man's <laughs> so, yeah, that's, my what, man. that's what women are trying to do. Men, it's just like, oh, it's a, it's a one night thing. They're out with the boys. Someone is taller. Funny no, so what? It's, it's it's that caveman mentality, and it's the it's yeah. the release of spunk. Whereas the <laughs> come on, you're a word. Is that a technical term for yeah, it? Really? <laughs> it's that wanting to bust a nut. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's why you cheat on holiday or whatever. You, you want to just bust a nut, right? But sure, women sure have that, have that, that emotional, emotional connection. I think, yeah, I think men don't, there's no emotional connection with men in it. Some men, how many times men. have you lined up a link, yeah? Zero. Then you bust a wank and you're like, you know what, I'm just going to sleep. Yeah. <laughs> Every time. Mate, I'm, I'm I Martin dates, Money, so I'm Martin Lewis Money Saver. <laughs> <laughs> I go on dates. Martin Lewis should put that up really. Martin Lewis really should. That is the best money saving advice. What, just knock just one out? Just rub one out. Bust yeah. a nut. No, but then, and I guarantee you, I guarantee you don't want to get that Uber no more. Yeah, hundred percent. Oh, you like live in London, isn't it? Uber, you, you drive over, isn't it? Yeah, I drive still, over. Fuel yeah. costs high, man. Yeah. That's yeah. Imagine it. driving him around so the country. It was one time. Yeah, but you're about two human size, isn't it? So. So are you. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it costs a lot. <laughs> <laughs> that little suburban engine pulling around a people carrier. Yeah, I think yeah. So, so yeah. When you cheated, did you feel guilty about it? Yeah. You, you confess. How many times did you do it? He was having an affair. So it was <laughs> yeah, it went, it went on. It went on for did a Did you bit. like the He's affair a girl more than the main girl? Or? That's how it ended up, yeah. And yeah. you left main girl for? Mm -hmm. No, I left them both in the end. Okay. It was just like, was that, yeah, like just done, it? James St. Patrick and that, you know, cheating and that, you know? Isn't it? Okay, and you left them both in the end? Yeah. But no, somebody else? Nah. <laughs> just, to, just, to, just to work on myself, you know what I mean? Yeah, pick up a hobby, like nah, the gym I'm or something. Nah, I'm out here is, that, is that when you started comedy? You found, found nah, yourself? I was young, man. This was oh. young. Oh, okay. I think I just started playing football. Okay. I wanted to become the ultimate scumbag. You know what I mean? So I really Best. You got a bit Callum Best about you, you know? Yeah? Yeah. Oh, thanks, mate. Well, I, I, do, I do go to Ocean Beach a lot. So. Do you? Well, I used to. I like Ocean Beach. It's good, isn't it? You have been like beef ever. This man. Mate, I've been yeah. probably about 50. Lavelle, times. you have Resident. the wrong idea about <laughs> you that. You think that. About you, I take you're, it back. You're a virgin, ain't it, Jason? You're, you're a virgin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You okay. scumbag, I take it back 15 times, so I beef her. Probably, yeah, probably. Yeah, like paint, a long paint time. Paint your face on all that. 
Yeah, yeah. Brother, you seen yeah. his sandals, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Of yeah. course he fucking faced his face. <laughs> yeah, I've been a lot of times. Have you been? Ibiza, yeah, yeah, I went last year. No, this year. Yeah, you did, year. It. I was The first time I went Ibiza was in 2005. Man. Which is a long time ago. You've been 15 times, why? Because I, but I used to go to Napa. I used to go to Napa every head. year. You went Ibiza this year? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Someone, my friends went Ibiza, you know? Yeah, stag, no, wedding, wedding. Oh, is it? In, was it in season, like the... Nikki Beach, yeah. Oh, Ibiza's sick, Would man. you go again, then? Yeah. Would I'd, you? I'd go next year, 100%. Would you? Yeah, probably. I don't know, weekend. man. I don't think I would go, you know. I've been once and it was good. We'll record one of these at Ocean. We'll get it's back. really good, but I don't think I'll go get back. Get Wayne on. Mm -hmm. yeah. I don't think I'll go back, you know. Yeah, you uh, you like Iron Apple, though. Have you been Iron Apple? No, nah, I've not been. I feel like I need to like level up. I feel like I need to go like Mexico and, you know, yeah, Miami. Mexico's sick. And Miami and that. Then wherever I be for. I feel like I'm too old for that now. I'll send you my video. Mexico, sick and it's so. not far. So I'm, I'm, I'm getting, I'm going month after. What are you doing? I'll go a month after. Month after, you gotta enjoy it. Yeah, but the person doesn't love you, innit? I don't love you regardless, bro. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but, so you're gonna say the loveless <laughs> yeah. marriage for a month. Do you wanna be embarrassed in front of all your friends and family? He's gonna be embarrassed a month later, though, isn't it? Yeah, but on your big day, still at the front of the room. It's not it's never the man's day, it's the woman's day anyway. Mm, yeah, yeah but yeah, but you're the one who's waiting. You're nah, stood at the altar I'm waiting spoiling, for I'm her. spoiling her day. If my day if my He's ready to start a set, bruv. <laughs> I'm spoiling my day, innit? And that's going to be my hour special. Yeah. My, uh, uh, my hour special. Yeah, but you could do that a month later. That, to be fair, that's all he's thinking, innit? He's like, I've written this speech. It's got some bangers in here. <laughs> got some What are you saying? Month or at the altar? I'm doing it at the altar. Okay. I'm going to say, you know when you say my vowels? I'm doing the whole thing then. She's not there, bro. My vowels. She is there. <laughs> <laughs> A-E-I-O-U. <laughs> she is there. Hey, right, listen, we've got to wrap this up. We've got one minute. Okay, so... So what then? So I'm doing it at the altar. So she's there though, yeah? She's not there. She's standing you up. How can she be there? I'm standing her up. No, she, would you rather be stood up at the altar or, or left, a, or month left a month later? later. Imagine, oh. getting to the, imagine getting to the end of the pod and he didn't understand the question. Oh, okay. That changed. That's dumb one, isn't it? Which one? Go. Oh, a month later then, isn't it? Okay. Because then, yeah, at least I can come home from work and... All right, wrap it up, man. Find all the stuff going Plus, on. at least then you, you can suck my man off and that's guilt out, free. Do, do an outro. Do outro. Yeah, all right. Thanks for listening to the first one. Subscribe on YouTube and pod Spotify. <laughs> YouTube and pod stuff. YouTube, Instagram. <laughs> YouTube. Spotify. Yeah. That's, but, yeah. that's episode one of The Word on the Streets. Follow us on Instagram, which is The Word on the Streets underscore yeah. YouTube and... Spotify, Spotify and Apple Podcast and all other podcast places. Whatever you listen on, subscribe and yeah, see you next week. This has been the Word on the Streets. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share.